Kia this is Rose reporting for Kia Kids News. In the news today, these kids' clothes are absolute rubbish. And it's a good thing. Kids are saving the environment by upcycling rubbish. Rubbish that will be in landfill and they're making it into clothes. It's all for the Eye of Nature Wearable Arts Fashion Show. Upcycling is like recycling, but it's all about upgrading something when you reuse it. Primary and secondary students has been given the challenge to make eco-friendly wearable art and there's serious cash going to the winning school. So Alex, tell me about your outfit. Our outfit is called Te Aroha Kia Papatunaku. It is about love to Papatunaku and how not all waste is bad and there is good waste and it's all about the regeneration and how the materials go back to the earth, go back to Papatunaku so she can grow and become more sustainable for future generations. Why is it important to reuse rubbish? Because we've only got one earth and if we can't save this earth then we don't have another earth. So by reusing we're helping her. So Sophie, tell me about your outfit. Well, this is inspired by, you know, obviously the ocean. Us humans have been polluting our oceans for years and I decided that I think that we should do something about it. So Jasmine, tell me about your outfit. My outfit's about how we drop rubbish all over the place and we don't pick it up. So it starts to wrap our world in litter and it collects global warming. So tell me about your outfit. Well, um, this is our garment and we named it the Tree of Life. We named it the Tree of Life because it represents that even in the darkest times to what pollution has done to our earth, we've managed to twist that tail and we've managed to make it into something beautiful that's representing a tree. That is concealed behind a world of waste that she will whip off on the catwalk and show her what the waste has managed to hide from the world. What material did you use? I used cardboard, I used lolly wrappers, and I used a foam ball for my hat. I used chip packets, glue, just a bit of paint, and bottle caps. That's, I try to avoid buying things. So tell me about your outfit. Well, my outfit, outfit is based on like a jellyfish, and like with the back it has the rubbish and like a big trail, so it's based on a jellyfish floating in the ocean of rubbish. So tell me about your outfit. Well, our outfit is like showing all like the birds and other animals that like eat plastic. In the cape we've got some fish bones, which is like the fish in the ocean that eat the plastic, and feathers that represent the birds, and all this rubbish from everyday households. I was really proud of myself because I put in the work and the effort every day, non-stop, for three weeks. I won this money for my school, and my school's the best, Pukekohe High School. It's inspired by nature's gang, like fighting for nature. Would you take that outfit to the real world? Um, yes, I would. It's like an example to everyone else that this is what can happen to our natural environment if we don't do something about it. There's absolutely lots of rubbish on the planet and we have to do something about it. What I believe in is nature. But we can still help more and more people raise awareness to create a better world. So there you have it. Rubbish doesn't need to go in the hole or kill a turtle. It could be used to make an outfit. And maybe your next shopping spree will be in the dumpster. This has been Rose reporting for Kia Kids News.